Carefully read each problem before writing your answer. How many ounces are in 10 pounds? To answer this question, the first thing you need to realize is one pound, I'll abbreviate LB, is equal to 16 ounces, which is abbreviated OZ. We want to now convert pounds to ounces. To do that, I want to write down the 10 pounds and put it over one, make it a fraction. I want to multiply what I like to call by a conversion fraction, which you get from the conversion equation or conversion formula. We want to cancel the pounds, so it has to be down below. So one pound is 16 ounces. Pounds cancel. Now just perform this multiplication. 10 times 16 is 160 ounces. And that is our answer. A garden is in the shape of an equilateral triangle. If the perimeter of the garden is 36 feet, how long in feet is one side of the garden? An equilateral triangle has three equal sides, like this, for example. We know that the perimeter is 36 feet. Perimeter is the sum of the measurements of the sides of any figure. So if these are all the same and the total is 36, all you need to do to find the length of one of these sides is to divide the 36 by 3. So our answer is going to be 12 feet. Here are some reminders for when you are completing this extended constructed response task. Carefully read each part of the task before writing your response. Be sure to complete all parts of the task. Clearly explain your answer and show all your work. Farmer Brown wants to build a new fence on his farm. He plans to give his sheep a rectangular pen with an area of 400 square yards in which to graze. Draw three different pens Farmer Brown could construct. Label the dimensions. How much fence material, in yards, would Farmer Brown need to buy to construct each of the three pens? Show all work. Actually, there are an infinite number of ways of drawing your three pens. Here are three possible examples. They're not to scale, so keep that in mind. The key thing to keep in mind is when you multiply the length times the width or base times height, numbers should be such that when you multiply them together, you get a result of 400. For example, here, 20 times 20 is 400, so 20 yards by 20 yards is 400 square yards. Here we have 50 times 8, 400, so 50 yards by 8 yards. Make sure you label properly your figures. This gives us 400 square yards. And finally, here's another example. 40 yards by 10 yards gives us 400 square yards. The second part of this task is to figure out how much fence material would be needed to build each of these pens. Mathematically speaking, you're being asked to compute the perimeter of each of these figures. For a square, to get the perimeter, just go 4 times one side, or 4 times 20, 80 yards of fencing. You could also just go 
20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20. Does not matter. For this example, that's exactly what I did. I just added up the length of all the sides here, the measurements. So it's 50 plus 8 plus 50 plus 8, which is equal to 116 yards of fencing. Some people would realize that, well, the perimeter of a rectangle, there's a formula for that. It's twice the length plus twice the width. And that's what I did for this last figure. I went 2 times the 40 plus the 2 times the 10, which is equal to 100 yards of fencing.